Hello everyone, in today's video we will set up our player to use both melee and shooter actions. In games like Devil May Cry we can use both guns as well as swords, so why not in our game? In order to create this we will need Unity, Game Creator, the shooter module and the melee module. What I'll be showing is one of the ways to do things, but obviously it can be done in different ways. So let's dive in. Now before setting up our scene I'm going to show you the end result of today's video. So we have our handgun here, um, which we'll pick up. We've got some bullets as well. Just want to make you know, show everyone this actually works. And great, beautiful. Um, now we're gonna pick our sword, and we have our sword and all of our sword actions. Now, I picked up both, so let's see what happens when we simply press H and we switch again and we press H again and we have our sword and we do our sword actions. So that's a really, really simple setup on uh, how to use both at the same time. So for the purpose of this um, tutorial, I'll be reusing the um, advanced UI scene. Um, you know, this, this scene has a player, it has a couple of um, boxes already set up. So you don't need to use this scene as long as it, you know, you have something to pick up ammo and um, weapons. So we'll start off by actually drawing weapons um, from these boxes and then we'll have a key on the player to do the same thing. So let me duplicate this one. I'm going to rename it zero one dual weapon. Perfect. Um, now let me open this up. Um, so yeah, we have the same scene, obviously. Now I'm using um, you know a shooter character, so he doesn't have any melee actions. Um, I'm going to take the easy route here and literally just, um, you know, go to melee examples and copy over the basic player interactions. Um, you know, this is not a scene on how to set up some, you know, more advanced uh, melee actions. This is just basic. I want it to work. So we have our dual weapon scene. I'm going to paste these in, just drag them in the player going to remove a couple as well so unsheet um, pause I don't need those um, evade is basically uh, a roll which is fun so you know I'll, I'll keep that in there um, <clears throat> but yeah we just want to attack block focus evade in there so the basic melee um, actions need to be there now I'm going to add the character melee um, I'm going to add a character um, shooter. There we go. Both of them are present. Now, what I'm going to do here is this bow. Now, I don't know if you've seen many of my videos. I think I've used it maybe once in all of these videos. So, you know, it's not something I really use. Um, so, we're going to draw our um, sword here. There we go. Now, let me rename the text as well, by the way. Now, we need to make sure that, you know, we're drawing our sword, but if we already have a handgun at that moment, um, the handgun needs to be shaded. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, open this up again. So, let me... So sword, and we want to draw our weapon. Now we want to do that first. Um, um, sh holster, apologies, holster. And um, we want to holster our weapon. Um, so we need to make sure that happens first. Um, we need to give it some time to do that. So I'm going to add a small delay here, um, which is really not that much, but you know, it's good enough. Um, now let me rename this big sword. <clears throat> cool. Now in the gun one, um, we need to make sure the same happens. So he's drawing a handgun, um, which is great, but we need to make sure 
Um, he's holstering his sword first. Now with the sword is called sheath. So he's going to sheath his weapon first. Now when we test this out, um, we will see that we pick a sword. Great, we have our sword actions. Um, now we go to our gun and we have our gun actions. Now we go to our sword again, we'll pick up our sword, block everything, it's all in there, great. And we'll go to our gun again and we have our gun. Perfect. So that all works. Um, now let's make sure that um, our player has those um, has that as an action on him so we're going to add a simple trigger here um, and that trigger needs to actually appear there we go um, I'm going to do on key up and I'm just going to use um, H which is why I removed that um, pause menu um, we already have one in the U as well as UI anyway so two even so I don't want to add a third one um, and we're going to add a condition here um, now this condition needs to recognize um, you know in which state we are are we armed are we not so I'm going to add from the shooter components going to add the armed one so is he armed then he's going to um, He's going to draw um, the sword. Um, if he's not armed, he's going to draw the weapon. There we go. So let's try this out. Um, I have my sword here. Great. Yay. Sword action. Beautiful. Um, I have my gun here. Oh, don't have any bullets. Let's add those bullets. And now when I press H, he's going to holster his gun and he's going to draw the sword. Now, yes, you know, obviously I recommend changing some animations, but uh, there we go. Um, we're using both at the same time, just the press of a button and we're um, switching between the modules. Now we set up our player to use both. Um, we just want to make sure as well that our enemy actually takes damage from both. Um, so really easy uh, setup here. Um, literally couldn't be easier. Um, I'm using my default uh, enemy AI who's receiving uh, on shot damage. Um, I'm literally just going to add a trigger here. I'm going to change this to on receive attack. So I'm going to add it, so we need to make sure both are here. Um, now we could set up new conditions with new values and you know, I definitely recommend doing that. I'm just going to show you that um, you know, it works. So I'm using the same damage conditions, which basically um, just you know, subtract 20 health and um, he will die ragdoll at uh, below zero. So that's it really. Um, so let's hit play and now that we've set up our player to um, you know to be able to use both um, we want to make sure that he can really use both in combat as well um, so we have both our gun and our sword here um, yay there we go gun works and our sword works as well and our guy dies. Perfect. So, um, as easy as it is to set up, um, you know, set this up for the player, it's even easier to, uh, you know, set up the damage for the enemy. So, there we go. Um, using both uh, modules at the same time, um, which is uh, really, really cool, honestly. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.